In this lesson, we'll examine the structure and components of your first app, and you'll learn how the folders and files in your app project relate to what you see on your app display. It's important to understand these relationships and details. There are a large number of folders and files, and what they are and what they do can get confusing if you don't have a good basic understanding of them. This is a prelude to digging into your actual Java and XML code. So please bring up Eclipse with your workspace and app as you see I've done. In the left window is the Package Explorer. We see our project folders and files there. In the middle are windows that will show the content of our Java and XML files. And on the right, a window that will show an outline of what we have in our center window. Going back to the Package Explorer window, let's look at our folders and files. To help explain them, I'm going to show you a graphic with an outline and descriptions of the folders and files you'll find in Android apps. As you can see, there are a number of folders and files. Some are for use by the Android system and shouldn't be modified by you. They're indicated by the red X's and red text. Some are for you to modify as a developer, as indicated by the green X's and green text. Let's start by looking at the system folders and files shown in red. Now these contain information generated by the system, and you shouldn't change their contents. The Gen folder contains files used for accessing elements from the Resources folder from your Java code. The Android 4.1.2 and Android Dependency folders are virtual folders that won't show on your disk drive, and they contain Android platform classes. The Bin, or Binary folder, is a staging area for your compiled executable app code. The Libs folder contains Android library code, and the Project Properties file contains information such as your app target release number. And now let's look at the folders and files you'll be working with as an app developer, shown in green in the graphic. The Source folder contains your application Java source code. The Assets folder contains files such as those used for databases, and there are none for your first app. The Resources folder contains XML and PNG files referenced by your Java code. Resources are kept separate from Java code to facilitate app organization, modification, and localization for different countries. The Drawable folders contain PNG files for images displayed on app screens. The different densities, from low to extra high, let Android use the appropriate image for different size device screens. The Layout folder contains XML files that describe the format of your app screen displays. The Values folder contains XML files that contain values for elements such as styles, strings, dimensions, and colors. The Values for Versions folders contain XML files that describe values such as styles for different Android versions. These allow Android to change display appearance depending on the version of Android on the mobile device using your app. The manifest file is an XML file describing global attributes of your app, such as the name of your app and main activity. The launcher PNG file contains the image used as a launch image. The ProGuard file defines parameters for obfuscating your code if you use this feature for app code security. Now let's look at a different graphic that shows how these folders and files relate to your screen design. On the right of this graphic, you see how various XML files relate to elements on a device screen. Manifest XML code provides global information about your app, such as the app name, shown here in the action bar. Style Values XML code controls the overall look and feel of your user interface. In your first app, you're using the holo theme light with dark action bars. Menu XML code controls the layout of the drop down menu in the action bar. String values XML code holds the text for the app name, menu, and main screen display. And the layout XML code controls the format of your screen and the text displayed. Resource XML code files, as we saw in the previous graphic, hold the code for the manifest values, menu, and layout. Drawable PNG files hold the images displayed on action bars and app screens. Source Java code controls what happens in your app. There are a number of cross-references between the various files. As an example, notice in your app, we see that the layout XML refers to the main activity Java, 
and the source Java refers to the main activity layout. System Android and Java code works in the background to run the operating system on the mobile device and manage the flow of data and activities in your applications. So this should give you a good beginning understanding of the pieces of your app. Now let's move on to dig deeper into the details of your code.